guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about baby chinchillas. So about a year ago, I got a two-month-old chinchilla. Her name was Quinn. And I recorded a video of me preparing the cage for her arrival. When you have a younger chinchilla, you want to be aware of how big the bar spacing is on your cage. I currently have a Ferret Nation cage that has about an inch bar spacing which for younger chinchillas isn't the greatest thing. Um, a better cage would be like a Critter Nation cage. And the problem isn't necessarily that they'll get out, which if you have a young enough one, they will get out. The problem is, is if they try to get out, they could become stuck and injure themselves. So it's better safe than sorry to escape proof your cage before an accident happens. So today I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through the steps of baby proofing a ferret nation cage. So basically you're going to put some hardware cloth and attach it to the cage so that it will make it safe and then once they become about six months old you'll be able to take that off and be assured that they won't try and escape. They'll be big enough at that point. There's also a couple other factors that come into baby proofing a cage. For instance, you don't want to have a lot of shelves. You don't want them to be high up. You want them to be very close to the ground because baby chinchillas are not the most graceful. So if there is a fall, it's not going to be as bad because they're falling a couple inches versus a foot or so. You also don't want to have any playtime. Baby chinchillas cannot regulate their temperature very well, so you can't have playtime. You also cannot have a wheel or flying saucer. These things you can have later in their life when they're about six months or older, but when they're young, you want to keep that away from them until they become better able to regulate their temperature. So I think that's all the rambling I have to do today. So this video is just escape proofing and then setting up the cage. My next video, I will show you the day I actually got Quinn. Um, I had to go on a road trip with my friend and I'll show you how she interacts with her cage and I'll take you on that journey with me. Little child Emily playing on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> So empty and clean. She likes to shoot them out of her cage <laughs> when she's done with them. <laughs> Screw this crap. I don't want it in there. Do you want it on top of this bar or do you want it low like that? I want it low. Because, you know, little baby chinchillas there. The gracefulest of creatures. <laughs>
Can you hear his little noise? Okay, so this is your finished product once you put all of the hardware cloth onto your cage. Um, I did use the smaller bar spacing again, it's fine. The only issue with the smaller bar spacing is that for things that go through the cage like this, that hook on the back, um, they're just a little bit more time consuming to install because you have to cut a hole for them. Um, they won't fit through this tiny mesh. So I would suggest if your hardware store has it, a little bit bigger um, bar spacing for your hardware mesh. So let's go ahead and go into the cage and I'll show you how the stuff is set up and what exactly you should and should not have in your cage. So this is the overall view of the cage. So let me start with the shelves. So I have this big shelf. I have this shelf in the corner. Um, and as you can see, they're all very close to the ground. The only one that is up higher is this shelf right here with this toy. Um, as you can see, it is attached to the ceiling here. And because I wanted this to be attached to the ceiling so they wouldn't be able to like push it off, um, I put this big shelf underneath it. So if she were to jump off of here, um, even if she were to fall off of here, she has this shelf down here to catch her. So even though this shelf is up higher, it's going to be safe because she has this big shelf to fall back on. Um, another thing you're going to want in your cage are toys. So I have this toy, that toy back there, which is actually a lava ledge that ended up being broken right out of the box so i just put one of those like water um like springs in it and just tied it on the cage for them something them to chew on i also have this big chew toy and this one um so another thing that i have in the cage to make it easier for is such a small chinchilla to get up onto these shelves is this little ramp in the back here. So this is a wood ramp, but because it's wood and doesn't have any grid on it, it was harder for my chinchillas to climb up it. It was a little bit slippery. So I just covered in with this fleece, which is actually the fleece that comes with the Ferret Nation cage to cover the ramps up. Um, it was just, it doesn't really fit. It was just a backup plan just because they wouldn't be able to climb up this otherwise. So I also have in the cage a hay feeder. It's a little bit shorter, so it'd be easier for the baby chinchilla to get into and to take all this stuff out so that she can eat it. Um, you don't need this in your cage. It just keeps your cage a little bit cleaner. You can put the hay directly onto the bedding. It's fine. They can eat from the bedding. Um, I just like it to be a little bit cleaner, so I have this wooden uh, feeder in here. Um, the next thing you're going to need to have is a hut. So any chinchilla that you have, even if you were to have two in here, you're gonna want two huts. One for each chinchilla. Um, this is just because they should have their own privacy. Even if you have two, they're not always gonna wanna be together. So you're gonna want a hut for that. And as you already saw, I have my litter box. Um, I'm going to try and 
litter box drain this baby. I might make a video about it, but I have different bedding in here. This is one of the easier ways to um, potty train them is to have a different bedding than what you have in the rest of the cage so they think that they should go in them but um this is a pellet bedding versus the pine that i have everywhere Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me escape proof my cage. I know I've done a lot of cage videos, but my next video I'm going to introduce one of my chinchillas to you. I'm actually gonna introduce the baby I was preparing for. We actually road trip down there to pick her up and I will show you her reaction to her new cage. If you guys like this video, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any tips or tricks for anyone watching these videos, please comment below. Thanks, I'll see you in my next video.